and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together. But first, try it on your own. Okay, so in this problem, when they say evaluate, that means to multiply this. And in this case, look at our choices. We're writing our answer in scientific notation. Numbers, which essentially are being multiplied by powers of 10. So the way I would look at this is I would notice that we're multiplying 2.4 and 10 to the 4th and 4.5 and 10 to the 3rd. Well, one of the properties I'm definitely going to focus on here is the associative and commutative properties. Those properties tell me I can regroup and rearrange numbers when I'm multiplying. For example, if I have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, right, if I put parentheses between the 2 and the 3, and the, uh, excuse me, around the 1 and the 2 and the 3 and the 4, if I, if I group these this way, I could multiply 1 by 2, which is 2, and then multiply that by 12, right, 3 times 4, which is 12, and then that's 24. Or I could regroup these and rearrange these in any way I want. I could say I want to do 1 times 3 first, and group those first, and 2 times 4 next, right? And look at this product. Well, 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 4 is 8, and 3 times 8 is 24. Well, this idea, right, can also be applied in this problem. I'm going to multiply 2.4 and 4.5, the two numbers not written as powers of 10, 2.4 times 4.5. And I'm also going to multiply the powers of 10, 10 to the 4th times 10 to the 3rd, because I can use the law of exponents there, which says multiplying powers of 10, or any um, powers with the same base, 10 is our base, we can just add the exponents. In other words, I know 10 to the 4th times 10 to the 3rd is 10 to the 7th. So that crosses out D and C, they're way too large. But careful, it could be 8, we're not sure yet. What is 2.4 times 4.5? Fortunately, they worked it out for us. It's, it's either 1.08 or something similar. It's going to have the digits 1 and 0 and 8. And I also know that 2 and 4 is 8 already. So another half, another 0.4 is going to bring us over 10. So I can see the answer uh, as having to be B, but we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. Um, if you're not convinced by what I just said, maybe that was confusing, let's look at the, the product of 2.4 and 4.5. Well, I was just saying that if you multiply 4.5 by 2.4, I know I'm going to get over 10. But let's just get it uh, precisely. 4 times 5 is 20, so I carry the 2. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. Now I'm multiplying 2 and 5, which is 10. We need this 1 up here. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And here, if we add these two up, we get 10, 8, 0. And then we move our decimal over twice, right? We carry these two places over, and our answer is 10.8. So that means 2.4 times 4.5 is 10.8. So we have 10.8 times 10 to the 7th. However, this is not the answer because it's not yet in scientific notation. The first number in scientific notation has to be between 1 and 10. Also, none of the choices here have a 10 in the beginning. So that means that to maintain equivalence, I want to take 10.8 and divide it by 10. That gets me 1.08. I knew that so quickly because divided by 10 just moves our decimal one place to the left. Now, I chose to divide it by 10 because I knew it needed to get 1.08, which also is a number between 1 and 10. However, if I want to maintain equivalence, if I divide this side by 10, this factor by 10, excuse me, I must then multiply this factor by 10. And that's just another 10, so it's 10, 7 10s being multiplied by another 10 is 10 to the 8th. And that's our answer, choice B. So I knew that our first factor product was over 10, right? And I knew we had 10 to the 7th here. So that made me see that the answer is B because something over 10, I have to bring it back down. I have to divide by 10 and then maintain equivalence by multiplying by 10. So I knew we would get 10 to the 8th, which had to be, and the only one with 10 to the 8th was choice B. And that was our answer. All right, I hope this helped.